In the tense skies of the Cold War, when superpowers raced to dominate the air, one small nation crafted an aircraft so extraordinary that it looked like it had come straight from the pages of science fiction, the Saab 35 Draken. Born in Sweden, a country famed for neutrality yet determined to protect its skies, the Draken was more than just a fighter jet, it was a vision of the future. When it first flew in 1955, the world was stunned. Its distinctive double delta wing, a sleek, arrow-shaped design, was unlike anything ever seen before. This unique shape allowed the Draken to achieve both high-speed interception and stable low-speed performance, solving a problem that baffled even the most advanced nations. Under the guidance of designer Eric Bratt, Saab engineers turned ambition into innovation, crafting a jet that could fly faster than Mach 2 while maintaining agility and control that pilots described as unbelievably smooth. The Draken's design was so advanced that it could execute the now-famous Cobra maneuver long before it became a signature of Russian jets decades later. Every element of the aircraft reflected Swedish ingenuity, from its powerful afterburning engine to its ability to operate from short, icy runways scattered across the rugged Nordic terrain. Built to defend against potential Soviet incursions, the Draken stood as a silent guardian of Scandinavian skies, ready to rise at a moment's notice. Its futuristic appearance made it seem almost alien compared to the American Sabres or Soviet MiGs of its time. Yet behind its elegant form was practical brilliance, an aircraft designed not only for performance but also for endurance, simplicity, and adaptability. For over three decades, the Saab Draken served as the backbone of Sweden's air defence, proving its worth in every role, from high-altitude interception to low-level strike missions. It later extended its wings beyond Sweden, serving proudly in the air forces of Denmark, Finland and Austria. Pilots praised it for its reliability, precision and unmatched control, a machine that responded to human intent with uncanny harmony. Its presence at airshow still draws awe, as it effortlessly performs maneuvers that modern jets struggle to replicate. Even today, more than half a century after its first flight, the Draken's design feels ahead of its time, a jet that could easily belong to a distant future rather than the mid-20th century. Its influence lived on through later Saab creations, like the Vigan and the Gripen, carrying forward a legacy of innovation rooted in independence and ingenuity. The Draken proved that a small nation, driven by necessity and creativity, could rival the technological might of the world's superpowers. It was a triumph of engineering over politics, imagination over conformity, and elegance over brute force. Every contour of its metallic skin tells a story of an era defined by fear, yet illuminated by invention. In the museums where it now rests or in the rare skies where it still flies, the Draken stands not merely as a relic of war but as a masterpiece of design, a flying sculpture that defied time itself. It reminds us that true innovation is born not from imitation but from courage, the courage to see beyond the horizon. The Saab Draken wasn't just an aircraft, it was a dream given wings, a glimpse of tomorrow forged in the quiet determination of a neutral nation. As the engines fell silent and history moved on, its legend continued to soar, whispering to future generations that technology, when guided by vision, can transcend its age. The Saab Draken, the jet that looked like science fiction, remains an everlasting symbol of how imagination can turn defense into art, and how a single design can forever change the story of flight.